Hello and welcome back to Span TV. and today I want to make a quick video that answers a question I'll be honest I get maybe every two weeks minimum. It is what is the very best setup for a photo or video editor right now in 2018 in terms of NAS. The appeal of um, editing on a network attached storage device in rack mount or desktop form isn't unheard of and the ability to have all of your files and data or your raw captured images on a NAS for you to edit upon and others to edit with as well as distributing it over the wider network is incredibly appealing. It, it minimises the workflow, saves a lot of doubling up and with enormous amount of RAID and redundancy options it's definitely an attractive choice. So what is the best option? Well it's this. Okay, This is, although it's noisy because it's a rack mount, I hope you can hear me over it, this is by and large the most popular and dare I say it the best possible solution right now for photo video editors. Now, let's start with the bad news. It's £10,000. It's not cheap. You are going to have to make some room in your budget. There are ways to make savings that I'll talk about later, but this exact setup I'm talking about today is £10,000. Okay? And there are even ways to improve that. What does ten grand buy you these days? And remember, that's without that, but does include the hard drive media. First and foremost, this is the Synology RS4017XX Plus. It is the beastliest, most powerful rack mount Synology have ever re re released to date. Right now, it's got an Intel Xeon, the D1528, and it's an 8 core CPU with 2.7 gigahertz per core. It also arrives between 8 and 64 gig of DDR4 memory. As you see, I've got notes here in front of me because the specs are so big. Um, on top of that, a great CPU and memory options. It is a 12 bay storage array that supports up to the very latest 12 TB and soon to be coming 14 TB hard drives. Now, on top of that, all of that, the device arrives with four LAN ports on the rear, USB 3, and two 10G base T ports. And we're going to expand on that later when I turn the device around. As well as all of this, it's got two power supplies. So you've got a redundant power supply to take over in the event that the other one fails. So genuinely, this NAS is a beast. But it's more than just the NAS, because that NAS alone costs just over £4,000. That's without the VAT, without the hard drive meter, so four grand. So I know you're wondering, you said ten grand. Where's the rest of the money? Well, the rest of the money is in those hard drives. This is fully populated with Seagate Exos Enterprise Level 12 TB drives. That's 12 times 12 TB. And this is in a RAID 6 environment at the moment. It's still building, hence the noise. <coughs> Each of these drives costing around 390 to 400 quid a pop. Fully populated. So right now, on those drives I should mention, five year warranty, uh, they arrive with 7200 RPM, 256 megabits per second cache, 2.5 million MTBF failure rate, uh, a, a mean time between failure I should say, and are effectively a, one of the best possible drives out there. That along with health management interfaces that are visible within the uh, software on the Synology NAS. And on the subject of supporting software, it's worth mentioning that the Synology arrives with five years of warranty and it arrives with a Synology replacement service. If you've got a fault or a problem, 24 hours turnaround, if you're in one of the covered regions, otherwise two to three days, and boom, you've got a new unit. So again, that is the beast we are talking about. But that's not it. We still haven't spent our full 10 grand. We're close. We've got a few hundred quid to spare. What you spend that on is this card here, the E10G17. It's a two-port SFP card. And I know you're thinking straight away, this 10 GBU card, why don't you add more 10GBE ports to something that's already got 10GBE. And this is what makes this setup perfect. Okay? Now, this device fully populated. You can use it for your raw storage. You can create multiple volumes. You can use backups to another NAS for individual folders, another rack mount, or maybe a desktop. But what you can do is you've got 10GBE ports so you can dedicate to different things. So the SFP ports we've added thanks to that card. Again, the card's got a five year warranty dedicated chip on board, uh, full duplex mode, the rest of it. You can connect that uh, SFP card, you can link aggregate it if you want, to an SFP switch, or using SFP cabling or fiber optic cables, cover a vast distance throughout your building, office, whatever, 
to a multitude of different devices that are connected by a fibre, or just into a fibre switch, which can then funnel into the other devices. But on top of that, the two 10 GBE based T ports on the rear, normal copper 10 GBE, can connect directly via RJ45 cable CAT6, CAT7 to a 10 GB enabled device, such as the new uh, Mac Tower device, the Mac Pro. Now the Mac Pro arrives with a 10 GB port on the rear that is compatible, and this gives you the ability to edit files raw on the NAS, and remember you've still got non-linear editing supported, which means that the original files won't be touched. You can edit those files raw on the NAS, use the distribution system, the 10 GBE over SFP, to your wider network, and you've still got the LAN ports on the rear if you want to use that for dedicated channels of internet connectivity or individual users connected there that will receive files directly from the NAS. It is a powerhouse of connectivity, a powerhouse of power, and a powerhouse of storage. And that is what 10 Brand buys you and why this is the perfect solution. I can't stress this enough. If you are an enterprise level photo or video editor and you want to know the best solution right now, this is it. The RS4017XS Plus, the drives inside, and the extra card on the back give you two tiered methods of 10 GBE connectivity. One for editors and one for the rest of your wider network. And of course, internet connectivity follows all the security precautions, user administration, privileges, two-step verification, and more, and protection and file management, as well as the software from Synology. Now, for those of you that don't have two grand, I mean, uh, have ten grand, and I'll be honest, that's a number of you, um, if you are looking for something a bit cheaper, and you want to scale down to five grand, you can go for a lower version of this unit, known as the RS3617XS, which lacks the 10 GB on board, but then you can add ports, such as the new 10 GB cards coming from uh, Synology. On top of that, you don't have to go for uh, 12 TB drives, you can scale down to 6 TB drives, and with that, you are looking at half a spend. That comes in at about 4,500, but you will miss out on the dual 10 GB connectivity, and of course, half the available storage. And the CPU in that is again another Xeon, same Xeon, but a 4 core. It arrives with 4 gig of memory. So again, it is almost a slice down the middle version of this, but still keeping that storage. If 5 grand is still too much for you, and you want to lower to 2 grand, for 2,000 pounds, you can get the RS1219 Plus. Uh, that is an 8 bay storage device that you can populate with 4 or 6 TB drives, and it has a PCIe slot where you can add the 10 GBU. But again, much lower in CPU comparative to this, and your performance will dip. You can still edit over 10 GBE, you can still distribute over 10 GBE if you see fit, and you've still got the full land on the rear. So again, those are your options. Right there at the top, your 10 grand, your 5 grand, your 2 grand. Do go to the article in the description to tell you more about these options, as well as learn more about data storage and the right methods for your video storage and video editing. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now from Span and Nails Experts. And I'll see you on Twitter at Robbie on the Tube. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And also, there should be some other videos there on the screen. Don't know what they are. Just letting you know about some other videos on the channel that might interest you. And all I've got left to say to you is, if you do find yourself getting beaten by a computer at chess, don't worry. There's no way it's going to beat you at kickboxing.